Hello and welcome. Hi, I'm Dave, and in this tutorial we will be building and deploying a React application. This tutorial is the final tutorial in the Learn React tutorial series, and I'll give a link to the full playlist in the description below. Okay, today we're going to deploy an app to Netlify, and then we will deploy the same app to GitHub Pages. So you'll know at least two different places you can host your React development projects. We'll start with Netlify first. And what we have is the package JSON file, and you can see I've got the 11 tut here. This is the tutorial in the series that covered use effect, and it was the last tutorial to use local storage instead of JSON server. You wouldn't want to try to deploy JSON server. That is just used as a dev environment REST API. You would want to create a real REST API, say using the rest of the MERN stack, for example, which would be Mongo, Node, and Express to go along with React. And you could create the back end for those applications like we did the blog application in the series, or we also did for the grocery list application. This will be the grocery list application using local storage only. Okay, we have the package JSON here, and you can see we check our dependencies and we don't want to take any dependencies to production that we aren't using. While we aren't using any of these testing dependencies, we also aren't using Web Vitals. So the first thing we'll do is uninstall any dependency we're not using. So I'll type npm uninstall, and then I can just copy and paste the names of each of these dependencies with a space between each one, and that will allow us to remove all of them in just one line of the npm uninstall. So I'm pasting in the second one, one more testing library to go. Got it. And then the web vitals. Oh, I did not get the T at the end of that one. It said event. There we go. And then web vitals here. We'll put a space, web vitals, and press return. And this will uninstall those packages. And with the uninstall complete, we can now see our dependencies are much smaller, and we only have the dependencies that we are using. Now the next thing we need to do is initialize our Git repository. At this point, I'm going to assume you're familiar with Git and have already installed that and have an account on GitHub. If for any reason you don't, I do have tutorials for getting started with Git and GitHub on my YouTube channel. So to initialize a repository, we type git init, and after the repository is initialized, we want to add all of the files. So we'll type git add and a period, which will add all of the files, unless it's listed in the git ignore file, of course. And after we do that, we need to commit the files. So I'll type git commit dash m, and here I'm just going to type first commit as the message. With that complete, we need to go to GitHub and create a new repository so we can push our code to the repository on GitHub. So when you're at GitHub, if you go to the top right menu, you can choose the drop down and choose your repositories, and you'll come to this page. It has repositories underlined here in red. You can see I'm using dark mode. Just click the new button to create a new repository on GitHub, and now we need a repository name. So this is going to be our Netlify deployment. So we'll say react underscore deploy underscore Netlify. And with that, we've already got a public page chosen here, or a public application. We don't need any of these checkboxes because we already have our repository on our computer. We're just going to push it to this empty repository on GitHub. So we click Create Repository. With the repository on GitHub created, we need to come to this line that says, or push an existing repository from the command line. And we need these three lines of code, but we can copy them all at once using this little icon over here to the right. So I'll just click that, and now we'll go back to VS Code. And in VS Code, I'm going to go ahead and expand the terminal window. And now that I've expanded it all the way to the top so we have more room, I'm in Windows, so I'm going to right click and it pastes all these lines of code into the terminal and it executes everything except this last one and I just need to press enter and it will, I guess, execute all of them. And that's exactly what we need. So in a moment when this is complete, we'll go back to GitHub and just make sure our code has arrived. The process is complete. Let's minimize VS Code. And now we're at GitHub again. Let's click the name of our repo up here, React Deploy Netlify. And this takes us 
to our repository. And yes, we can see the README here for the use effect hook tutorial. And we've got all of the files here. Let's check our package JSON and see if it looks like what we saw in ours. And yes, we'd already cleaned out the dependencies. Here they are right here. Everything looks like we expect it to. So with that complete, we now need to go to Netlify. And this would be app.netlify.com. And from there, you already have a GitHub account, so you can just log in using GitHub if you click that button. Once you're logged into Netlify, you will probably see your team page, even if it's just your account. Here it says my Git Degrees team. I'm going to choose New Site from Git, and once I'm on the Create New Site page, I'm going to choose GitHub. You can see you could also do this with GitLab or Bitbucket. I'm going to just choose GitHub right here, and this will allow Netlify to search my repositories, so I can click here where it says search repos and I had react underscore deploy underscore Netlify and there it found the repository I'll click the name of the repository and now here's the settings we pretty much need to leave it as is the branch to deploy is the main branch we do not want to add anything to the base directory just leave the default the build command will be npm run build and we want to publish the build directory so it's ready to deploy let's click deploy site we can now see that the site deploy is in progress and down here under production deploys it says building and so this will complete very soon and we will have an address or a link to click to launch our application now the deployment and build is complete and we can click on the link provided by Netlify and launch our application. And here is our grocery list. Let's go ahead and add some basic items. We've got bread, milk, and cookies, just the essentials of course. We can click on a couple of those. Let's go ahead and reload the application to make sure our local storage is working. Yes, everything came back the way we expected, and our application is now live on Netlify, and here is the address for the application. Okay, we're going to start back at square one to deploy a React app to GitHub pages, so you can compare the difference and see if you like to deploy to Netlify or to GitHub pages. Either way works, and it's nice to have options. Okay, so starting at square one, the first thing we need to do is open a terminal window, and once again, remove any unnecessary installed dependencies. So we'll say npm uninstall, and we have the same four dependencies here that we previously did if you went through the Netlify portion of this tutorial, where we want to remove the testing libraries, and then we also want to remove Web Vitals. So copying all three of the testing, putting a space between each one, and then copying Web Vitals as well, putting that all on the same line, and uninstalling those packages. And with that complete, we can now see our dependencies are cleaned up. We're ready to scroll down because we need to add a dev dependency to host on GitHub pages. And you can see we have no dev dependencies right now. So in the terminal window, we'll type npm i, just i, not in, there we go, gh-pages dash capital D, which stands for save dev, because this is a dev dependency. I'll press enter, and this will install. And now we can see GH Pages has been installed as a dev dependency. With that complete, let's scroll back up to the top of our package JSON, and underneath the version, we need to add home page and a value for home page. And the value will be where we plan to have our React application. So we'll start with HTTPS colon slash slash, and then you need to put your GitHub username. Mine is git. DA Gray, and then put dot github.io. And after that, put what you plan to name your repository on GitHub. I'm going to name this React underscore deploy underscore GH. 
and then quotation and a comma to finish out that. Now once you've completed that, we'll scroll just a little bit and we need to add a couple of scripts to our package JSON as well. The first is a pre-deploy and the value for this pre-deploy will be npm run build. And the next is a deploy and the value for this will be gh-pages-lowercase d build. And with those complete, go ahead and save the package JSON. Once again, notice we do not have a Git repository initialized here locally, so we need to do that before we can push our code to GitHub, or before we can even think about creating a repository on GitHub to push our code to. So let's go ahead and type git init to initialize our local repository. And after that, we're going to type git add and a period to add all the files except those that are listed in the git ignore file. And then we'll type git commit dash m and just generic here first commit. Now you may already have a repository, a local repository, and that's fine too. I just wanted to add this step in the tutorial for those that didn't. And now that we have created that local repository, we do need to push it to GitHub. So let's go to Chrome, and we have GitHub open, but here is the React deploy Netlify from the previous uh, variation where we deployed to Netlify. So let's go to the menu in the top right and choose your repositories and on that page just click the new button to create a new repository and here we need the name that we put in the package JSON under home page. So this is react underscore deploy underscore gh and it says that is available. If it's not you would need to go change your package JSON to something that is available, the home page value that is. Okay, and now click Create Repository. And with that quickly finished, we need to go to the area that says or push an existing repository from the command line because we do have an existing local repository. And we'll need these three lines of code. So we click the icon to the right to copy all three. Let's go back to VS Code now. And in VS Code, I'm going to expand the terminal window to the top so we can see everything. Now in Windows, I just right click to paste these in. I'm not sure what you would do on Mac or Linux, but please feel free to comment below to help us all out. Now I'm going to press Enter and it will go ahead and execute these lines and push our local repository to GitHub. And with our code now at GitHub, let's go ahead and verify. So we're back here. Let's click React Deploy GH at the top, the name of the repository. And here you can see our local repository has now been pushed to GitHub. And that's exactly what we need. Let's go back to VS Code now. And let's stay in the terminal. And we can type npm run deploy. And this will absolutely deploy our React application on GitHub Pages. When the deployment is complete, you should see published in the terminal right after the GH Pages dash D build that was issued from our npm run deploy command. Okay, so once we have that, we know to go back to the package JSON. I'm going to shrink the terminal. And in the package JSON, we already filled in the address where our application should be. So let's just copy that. And now let's go back to Chrome. And in Chrome, we should be able to just paste in that address and see our React application deployed on GitHub pages. And here's our grocery list. Let's add the milk, eggs, and bacon. And let's check off bacon. Looks good. Let's refresh the page. Yes, the local storage is working. Everything about the application is working as we expected it to on GitHub pages. Okay, I'll minimize that because it's a little brighter than the dark mode, but now you might want to ask which do I prefer? Do I like to host my React applications on Netlify or GitHub pages? Well, they both have pluses and minuses. I will say that Netlify involves one more site, whereas GitHub Pages allows you to host everything directly on GitHub. So that's a bonus for GitHub. Now Netlify 
offer some additional hosting features that I do really like, including environment variables and serverless functions. So that is also a plus for Netlify. And overall, I don't have to add any extra scripts for Netlify like I did here for GitHub Pages. And I definitely did not have to add a dev dependency like I did for GitHub Pages. So if you like to just leave your package JSON alone. In addition, we didn't even have to provide the home page value for Netlify, but we did have to do that for GitHub pages. So if you like to leave that package JSON alone, Netlify may be the choice for you. Both are great options to freely post your React projects as you're learning React. So you can't go wrong either way. Hey, thank you guys so much for liking the video. If it helped you get started with React, also, I appreciate you watching and subscribing. It's helping my channel grow. Take care, and I'll see you again very soon.